Hey guys, today we're gonna review uh, PCI Express to M.2 adapter. This adapter is the cheap, cheap one, which will allows you to connect the M.2 NVMe SSD to your motherboard on your PC if you have no free M.2 slots or either your motherboard doesn't have uh, M.2 slots at all. So let's just right open this one check where it comes from uh, we have some small screwdriver thermal pads to install our SSD of course this one you have to purchase separately or maybe you have already one uh, some screws mounting screws for SSD and this board itself it looks like uh, usual PCI Express connector for example on your a graphics card uh, and here we have m.2 slot where you can install uh, ssd this uh, motherboard supports uh, different uh, ssd size from 20 to 30 to 20 to 80 including and uh, to put in, in operation you have uh, to connect it to pc express x4 slot or x16 slot but keep keep in mind that uh, this one can pass through only X4, uh, X4 for PCI Express lanes, obviously, because SSD support only uh, for lanes. So even if you will connect this one to your uh, X16 PCI Express slot on your PC, uh, it will not boost uh, the speed of SSD four times. And also important uh, thing about this that this supports only NVMe SSDs. This does not support uh, SATA SSDs with the uh, M2 connection, so keep that in mind. So just let's install SSD right here. No, first I have to install supporting uh, screw. The board will use the uh, very right hole here because our SSD is 2280. And here we have to connect this one. Hmm. I'm not sure, maybe. Maybe like this. Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> just what a noob. I just figured out how to do this. First, you have to put the screw into the hole on your SSD itself. On the side here, we have cut out for putting it to SSD. Then slide SSD in M.2 slot on the uh, board. Put that supporting stand here. And screw it from the back side, not from the front side as usually you do on, on motherboards, but from back side using the screw like that. Now it's installed correctly. I didn't use some those thermal pads, maybe I don't need them at all. And next, you, we just will install this board into our uh, motherboard on my PC and compare results of speed test directly with this SSD into M.2 slot motherboard and using this adapter. So as you could see from the results, the speeds are quite obvious, quite expectable. This adapter just serves you the way to connect the M.2 SSD to your PC if you have no free M.2 slot. Uh, the one thing I want to point, I'm not sure that this one will work on all motherboards. I mean old motherboards, maybe five, six, seven years old. I haven't quite <laughs> a new motherboard on the on Intel Z590 chipset. It was released just a couple months ago, so here it works flawlessly. But I'm not sure that it will work on more older SSDs and on the Windows XP or more older operation systems. So you have to check it uh, by yourself. If you want to buy this product, you can find the link in the video description. And guys, I thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like button, and I see see you in the next video.